Chandler Therapeutic Recreation and in honor of fall and Thanksgiving, today I will be walking you through how to make a no-bake pumpkin pie. What you're going to need are two cups of canned pumpkin pie filling, half a cup of sugar, eight ounces of cream cheese, 16 ounces of Cool Whip, one tablespoon of cinnamon, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, one teaspoon nutmeg, one box of instant vanilla pudding, one cup of milk, and two pre-made crusts. We'll begin by doing the bottom layer of the pie. You'll need your half a cup of sugar, your whipped cream, and the cream cheese, and we're going to blend it together with our hand mixer in a bowl. So let's begin. Here's the sugar, your whipped topping, and the cream cheese. Make sure it's softened before you put it in. And now we will mix it with our hand mixer. This might get a little messy. Now before you do this, make sure that if you need some help, have somebody help you do the hand mixer because it can be a little strong and sometimes it can make a huge mess. I have the hand mixer on a low speed just to control the whip topping and cream cheese from flying all over the place. Good. And feel free to take these out and give it a little taste. Mm, yum! Or give it to a family member if it's not your thing. Now you're going to take your blended bottom layer and you're going to put it in both of your pie crust tins. Doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to taste good regardless. So now that we've done our bottom layer, we are going to start working on our middle layer. For this, we're going to need our instant pudding mix, our one cup of milk, two cups of canned pumpkin pie filling, our cinnamon nutmeg, pumpkin spice, and that is it. Let's start by putting in our instant pudding mix, milk, and we're going to stir it until it's nice and thick. Go ahead and stir it for a minute. It should take about that long until we get the consistency that we want. We don't want it watery. We want to make sure again that it is nice and thick. And if you do need help mixing, make sure that you do grab a family member that's nearby. Now we're going to mix our pumpkin. Look at that. Festive colors and all. Once it looks mixed, like it's all mixed well, the pudding and the pumpkin, we will need a whole lot of cinnamon, one tablespoon. This might get a little messy. Oh, <laughs> or a lot messy. All right, tablespoon of cinnamon, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. All right, mess continues. There we go. And now we need one teaspoon of nutmeg. We'll go ahead and mix it all together. This smells amazing. After it looks like it's mixed well, we can go ahead and add it to our pie. Okay, so again, does not have to be perfect, but we are going to add our middle layer to our pie. Distribute as evenly as you can. And then go ahead and spread it evenly, or as evenly as you can. Now that we have our bottom and our middle layer done, we'll start working on our top layer. We will take our last tub of whipped topping and just place it on our pies. Super easy, doesn't have to be perfect, you make a mess, sounds great, it's all going to taste the same. And then 
spread it as evenly as you can. Or if you have a different design you're going for, go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna stick to a very basic top layer. If you know how to do one of those cool little middle swirls, go for it. That's not my thing, but it might be yours. All right, there we go. Last but not least, we are going to just sprinkle on all of our spices. Now, you can use the ones that you made a mess with, like me, or you can sprinkle it from the containers. A little bit of cinnamon. I love cinnamon. I recommend not doing a lot, but just have fun with it. A little bit more pumpkin pie spice and a little splash of nutmeg. There we go. So we're just about done. The last step is waiting. So we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for an hour. Okay, so now that it's been an hour, we can take out our pie. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this treat just as much as I did and have a happy Thanksgiving.